By the late 1980s, the Stargate project was in full swing. Declassified files show that the United States government has used remote viewing, the ability to psychically see places remotely, for over a decade. While browsing the CIA archives, we found something that made us double interpret, the apparent discovery of three extraterrestrial bases by an intelligence analyst. The obscure handwritten document, declassified and named Sunstreak, was under the supervision of the DoD's Defense Intelligence Agency, describes secret underground structures of extraterrestrial origin. One of these structures would be located under Mount Hayes, Alaska. Despite its highest mountain status in the eastern range of the state, Hayes is rarely climbed due to its remoteness and inaccessibility. It is also the epicenter of what the locals call the Alaska Triangle, a hot spot for news of inexplicable lights, fading hikers, and even tiny beings living in the desert. So what exactly did the United States government find out? And could an underground facility have anything to do with strange relationships in the area dating back decades? In his book written in 1997, Remote Viewers, The Secret History of America's Psychic Spies, the author Jim Schnabel describes in detail the involvement of U.S. intelligence in the controversial issue of psychic espionage that began in the 1970s. In the section dedicated to Pat Price, we learn that the extraordinary psychic spy, in one of his visions, would have said that, in Alaska, the interior of Mount Hayes, the jewel of the northeast of Anchorage, hosted, and still houses, one of the largest secret bases of aliens. According to Pat Price, the aliens who lived inside the mountain were very similar to humans in appearance, differing only in the internal anatomy, such as heart, lungs, blood, and eyes. In addition, Price states that the aliens were able to take control of our mind and that the Alaska site was also responsible for the malfunction of some American and Soviet space objects. Of course, Pat Price's claims have never been officially confirmed. However, despite the controversial nature of the story, in some FBI files recently made public we can find surprising encounters with UFOs in the period between 1947 and 1950 precisely Alaska.